Google Cardboard for iOS is finally here and it's finally officially supported. Google today released their uh, their Cardboard app for iOS and I have to say it's pretty solid. Uh, there are a couple of different things that you can actually do in the app, but the most interesting I'd say is something is uh, an area called Explore. It allows you to take virtual three-dimensional tours of famous sites like for example, this is the Natural History Museum. You can't really see in VR unless you actually put your eyes up to it, but uh, I have to say it's pretty stunning what you can see taking a tour of this museum. Now the reason that I find this so incredible, or not incredible really, the reason that I find this so valuable is that a lot of schools already have iDevices like iPhones and iPods. Uh, integrated into their curriculum. They can't afford to buy a $2,000 uh, VR device or a $1,500 Oculus Rift, but they can afford to buy a $20 accessory that allows their students to go to places that they might not otherwise be able to go to, such as the Natural Hist History Museum, the Museum of Flight, which is the next one. It, it, it really allows for a whole new type of teaching based on actually exploring the curriculum rather than just memorizing it. Uh, you can take your students to Mars, you can take your students to the moon, you can take your students to, well not yet, but eventually you'll be able to take them maybe inside the Revolutionary War to take a look at uh, what's going on in, let's say, Independence Hall in Philadelphia. So it's really an incredible way to learn, to be able to go and experience your education rather than just be taught it. Uh, this is the exhibit section of the app. It allows you to look at very famous artifacts in three dimensions. Uh, this is called the Hawk Rattle, the Vatican Mask. Uh, th these are just and th these are just examples, but you can look at you can take your students on field trips that they might never that might take them years to ever you can go around the world with your students without leaving the classroom, and I think that's really, really valuable. I think that's going to be huge for education. Uh, let's see what else is going on in this app. I literally just got this app because it came out today, so I haven't had a full chance to explore it. But so far, I'm impressed. Uh, this is the urban hike section, which is basically you can walk around a city in three dimensions, and you just tap on the screen to move on to the next location. I think that's rather cool. Uh, what else? Kaleidoscope, which is just as it says, it's a kaleidoscope with the Google logo. Uh, it's kind of, how would I describe it? It's kind of like an Easter egg built into the app because it doesn't really add that much value, it's just cool. Uh, to navigate through the app, by the way, you just like turn the, you turn the glass, and it brings you to the home screen. Uh, although my favorite app, my favorite VR app that I have, isn't actually made by Google, although it supports Google Cardboard. It's called Insidious VR. It's based on the horror film franchise, and it's a trailer for a horror film, very creepy, shot in 3D. And if you wear it with, or and if you experience it with headphones on you will be scared. I've scared a lot of friends using it, but it is absolutely awesome. So, these are uh, the Go4D uh, Google Glass, uh, not Google Glass, sorry. Google, v Google Cardboard VR compatible glasses. Uh, they're like $22 on Amazon, free shipping. And they're very solid, so I'd recommend getting a pair of these or the official big clunky Google Cardboard setup that they're selling and then trying it for yourself because t to understand how great Google Cardboard is you really have to try it for yourself. So that is Google Cardboard for iOS. I hope you enjoyed this brief introduction and I will see you soon if you subscribe. If not, I'll probably never see you again. So subscribe. I want to see you again.